Hello folks, it's Yuri Goman. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another discussion about the chat GPT and AI and how helpful they are in our professional business analyst life. In my previous video, I already talked about chat GPT and its proven use cases that were very helpful in my experience. In the same video, I talked that chat GPT is very limited on diagramming and that's still true. When you ask ChatGPT for a diagram, it provides usually a great description in words, and if you ask for the picture, it gives you this. Yeah, thanks, no, <laughs> I won't be taking that. So for now, ChatGPT is very limited to produce the result you need right there in the chat. My gears started turning, and I thought maybe there is a way to somehow convert the text into the code which will be interpreted by some tool and I will get the actual diagram. Maybe you guessed already that at this moment I remembered about PlantUML. PlantUML is a syntax which allows you to basically write some text uh, in a specified format. You then put this text into PlantUML reader and you get an actual diagram. PlantUML supports all kind of UML diagrams, sequence, class, use case and other. So when I remembered about PlantUML, I thought that maybe ChatGPT could provide me with the response in that format. And we will try that together. Let's pretend that we will have a call with a client soon, our first call about the project, about business idea. And all we know is that it's a task tracking application. As business analysts, we want to prepare for this meeting and we would like to create a list of use cases and maybe a diagram. So let's dive to that. What we wanna do is to ask ChatGPT to generate a list of 10 most common use cases for the task tracker application for personal productivity. Now we have a beautiful list of use cases and we need to make a diagram out of them. So we prompt ChatGPT to do that for us. Now that we have this beautiful piece of code in PlantUML, we can actually use it and copy paste into the system that can read the PlantUML. Now I use Mira, so we will use that. So to copy it to Mira, we copy it here. Cool. We go to Mira boards. Uh, we find the PlantUML application that you actually need to install first. We open this beautiful code editor. We past what we created and we have this. Yeah. The result generated by ChatGPT, this PlantUML format, it's not always ideal. Sometimes you need to edit it and actually most of the time you need to edit it. But what you can do to increase the efficiency of the output is actually to use the reference by PlantUML. You can go to the official website of PlantUML and find this file downloaded. It's 600 page reference and you can input it into the chat GPT, ask it to learn from the reference and create a new diagram based on it. Believe me, results becoming much better right away. As I mentioned before, it also works for other types of UML diagrams. So let's try a couple of them to see how it works. For example, let's work with the class diagram. Class diagram or domain model, how we call it as well, is used when we need to discuss uh, key entities of the system, attributes, maybe functions. And we do that almost all the time, in my experience, when we start the project, right? So we have this discussion with domain experts and we are trying to find the common ground. So let's pretend we have this discussion with the client. And after the discussion, we need to generate the model to confirm elicitation results. You can prompt the chat GPT to create a PlantUML class diagram based on the information you have. Again, you have your results, which you can copy. Go to Mira, call the PlantUML code editor, and boom, you have an actual class diagram for the system. Now let's try one more example of a diagram and proceed with sequence diagram. I love it and I use it all the time. And especially I love how sequence diagram greatly works for the login feature. So let's describe it with uh, PlantUML. So here you can prompt ChatGPT to create a complex, maybe two-factor authentication for your website. And again, copy, past here, and boom, you get another example, another beautiful diagram that you can reuse. Of course, you will need to probably fix it a bit, but you can see how it works with sequence as well. 
this is how it works in Mira. Of course, there are more tools on the market that read blind HTML format. Most of those readers are not user-friendly, so I'm not suggesting to use them. There is also Lucid charts uh, that can read blind HTML, but it is included into paid features. So the only one tool that I know that works with blind HTML for free, like Mira does, is diagrams.net or xdrawio. So to make a diagram in diagrams.net, you copy the code, you go to diagrams.net, you go to arrange, insert, advanced, and plant UML. You remove what's here, pass your code, and yep, you have the same result right here. You can't uh, edit it as a diagram, so you need to get back to plant UML, but it works great as well. But plant UML is not the only format that ChatGPT can generate. There is also another one, which is called Mermaid. To use it, you can simply prompt ChatGPT to regenerate the same plant UML response into Mermaid format. You can copy the result, go to Mermaid Formatter in Mira, paste the result and add it to board. As you see, you get pretty much the same result as you've got with Plant UML. To work with the diagrams.net, do the same, go to Insert, Advanced, Mermaid, paste the code and insert. What is great with diagrams.net that it works with Mermaid not as with image, so you can actually modify it as a diagram. And that's it. Today we learned how to make diagrams with ChatGPT, how to convert them into plant HTML or mermaid formats, and then how to import them for visualization into Mira or diagrams.net. Jump into comments and share if you knew about this method before and how it worked for you. And if you didn't, do you think it's gonna be useful for you or not? Also, if you like this video, don't be shy to subscribe like this video and maybe check other content on my channel because there is many things to do. There are interviews, book reviews and other topical videos just like this.